guys, this movie was bananas. <laughs> hey everybody, welcome to Mothman Jones Movie Reviews. I'm your host, John Maffio, and today's featured movie is Kong Skull Island. It's directed by Jordan V. Roberts. He last directed Kings of Summer, which is a Staten Island movie. Holla at your hometown. Um, this film is about a group of people that range in many, many occupations who go to Skull Island to seek out what's there for scientific research and to, you know, expand the world on its knowledge for reasons. So when they get there and throw bombs on King Kong's turf and they realize it's a bad idea, some people take one side and some people take another side. They have to basically find a way just unitedly to survive. Yeah, but now it's pretty good. Time traveling back to 2014, I was extravagantly hyped for Godzilla, directed by Gareth Edwards, who now directed Rogue One last year. And the movie is... To be honest, a really good movie, but it cock teases so much on the Godzilla part and the fighting. Um, this movie is in the same universe, and they're building up to a King Kong vs. Godzilla movie. We're getting a King of Monsters movie before that, starring Millie Bobby Brownie Brown, County Mound, Drummond now. But um, this movie, Skull Island, I enjoyed it. It's a lot of fun, to be honest. If you go in with the right mentality, I think you can come out really enjoying this movie. If you go into this movie expecting a great film with great characters, with depth, and just a movie that's going to grab you emotionally in the way that a Logan would or a Dark Knight would, then you're not going to get that here. But the movie, at least mostly what it's trying to accomplish as a movie, as a product, it does pretty much do. Aside from a couple moments where the film does go off the beaten path to actually try to do something more than just being what it's supposed to be, according to what it's telling us and selling us as the movie starts and begins, the movie is pretty much what it sets out to be. It's a fun, cheesy B-movie with King Kong and a bunch of crazy, creepy, giant monsters that live on Skull Island, and they're killing actors. Only a couple characters are given depth and given reason and given, like, you know, like, resonance emotionally, including John C. Riley. A little bit Samuel L. Jackson and a little bit Tom Hiddleston. But for the most part, this cast, even a lot of the really famous actors, aren't given really anything to do. I'll tell you right now, John Goodman is in this movie to connect Monarch, which is the company that looks and seeks out these monsters, including Godzilla from the Godzilla movie and now King Kong from this movie. Um, Brie Larson is a photographer. All she does is hold on to a camera no matter what is going on in the movie. Even if she's about to die, she has that camera in her grasp, ready to snap photos. She's that passionate about photography, I guess. The only actor I was disappointed with in this movie was Toby Kebbell, because he's actually given something to do in the movie, and it kind of gets stripped away anticlimactically, in my opinion, at least. But yeah, one of the big reasons why I get excited for King Kong movies, big monster movies, especially King Kong, though, is that you know... These people are getting into a bad situation where a lot of them aren't going to come out alive. So it's fun watching a lot of these people die. Um, there's a couple that were very anticlimactic and really dumb. But there are a couple deaths that are memorable and hilarious unintentionally or intentionally, whether they are. King Kong is great. He looks great. The special effects on him are incredible. But watching him just go to town on Skull Island creatures, which there is a big variety on the creatures, by the way, which is really cool. But watching him just go ham on these things. It's just really fun to watch, even if it doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Reviews are all over the place. There's no consistency for this movie, in my opinion, but for me, I was so into this movie just from a cohesive perspective for the first 20-30 minutes, and then once everybody's on the island, characters start to flip-flop from one place to another. They First, they are motivated for one reason, and they don't have motivation for another reason, and they kind of just take sides for no reason. Characters pop up where you don't expect them to be and you don't really know why. A crazy bananas movie like Kong Skull Island is going to ask you to suspend your disbelief. It's just going to happen. But the, even this movie has moments where it does that that you can't even, you can't do it because it just takes it that one extra step further where you just 
suddenly are taken out of the movie because things don't make sense at all. This movie is terribly inconsistent in our characters' journeys from A to B or Z or E or F or G. Overall, though, if you could bypass all the inconsistencies and all the ridiculous nonsense and it makes no sense in this movie, you can have a fun time with Kong Skull Island. I personally had a really fun time with it, but spoiler alert, there are no bananas in Kong Skull Island. Pretty disappointing, I know. Minus a couple characters, there is no character development, character growth, character arcs, characters, period. People are just given things to do, and some of them are pretty, and some of them are attractive, and some of them are really, really famous. The action sequences with Kong and the creatures are worth the price of admission alone. Um, if you're expecting a great film, you're not going to get it, but you can have fun with this movie. And I think what it attempts to do as a movie, it, for the most part, accomplishes. And for that, I think it's a decent movie. So having said all that, I'm going to give Kong Skull Island a 3 out of 5 stars. It's a full course Applebee's meal. And we include it with bananas. But now I want to know your thoughts. What did you think of Kong Skull Island if you saw it? Let me know in the comments down below. If you enjoyed my review of boom, 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 King Kong, please like, subscribe if you haven't already, and check out my social medias and my Odyssey page down below. Also, share the video if you would like because sharing helps a ton of bunch. Also, are you surprised I made this banana last the entire review? Because I didn't think that was going to happen. Just a personal thought. I'm John Mafio, a.k.a. Mothman Jones, and I'll see you guys next time. Ooh, ooh, ah, ah.